Today, we're taking a look at the mystery of the red panda and revealing the image generator that apparently just killed Flux and Mid Journey. I'm being a little tongue in cheek with the whole Flux and Mid Journey killer. I mean, red pandas are adorable. They aren't capable of being hardened killers, right? Killer pandas aside, this is a very impressive model. And you know, from a data standpoint, at least, it did beat Flux 1.1 Pro and Mid Journey. It's got a lot of extra treats built into it and you can use it right now for free. I've also got a really cool image generation method from Blockade Labs. You may remember them as being one of the OG players in the whole uh, skybox arena. This one is pretty cool. You're definitely gonna wanna check it out. Okay, let's dive in. So over the last few days, a mysterious new image generator called Red Panda has shot up the rankings, beating out both Flux 1.1 Pro, Ideogram, and Midjourney V6.1, pretty much crowning it the king of AI image generators. By the way, if you've ever wondered where these rankings come from, like is it a bunch of egghead scientists sitting around with clipboards judging images of a man in a blue business suit? No, it is not. The scores actually come from the artificial analysis leaderboard. Uh, I'll have a link to this down below. This is where we get our ELO scores for, not ELO like Mr. Blue Sky. If you enter the arena, you'll be given a randomized prompt with two images. You choose which one you think is better. And uh, like for this, an echo friendly water bottle with a bamboo exterior, I prefer this one. And you just kind of continue on voting. Obviously all of that gets tabulated and put into the leaderboard. So when it comes to the question of who comes up with these ELO scores in a shocking twist, it was you all along. Also the call is coming from inside the house and it was earth all along. Shyamalan twist aside, yes, Red Panda was a code name much in the same way that Blueberry was the code name for Flux 1.1. Uh, like a great Scooby-Doo episode, the mask has been pulled off and we now know that Red Panda is actually Recraft AI. So Recraft is a UK-based company. You can find the model on their platform. Obviously, it's actually got this kind of cool little title treatment uh, up here. So diving into Recraft, uh, yes, we have canvases. I know canvases are kind of like the latest design trend. They're sort of everywhere. I guess uh, just get into it. As a quick aside, and just because I haven't had the chance to cover it, uh, yes, Ideogram does have their canvas feature as well. Uh, I think it's actually pretty great. Uh, I've already used it for a couple of thumbnails. And Kyber, which recently introduced Super Studio, which is their Canvas meets Node workflow, uh, recently integrated in Runway, Kling Standard, Kling Pro, and Minimax to you know their platform. Okay, let's get back to Recraft. So I'm just going to be concentrating on the image generation aspect of this for now. Uh, there's obviously a ton that you can do on this platform, uh, including like you know background removal, choosing color palettes, and kind of in and out painting. Let me know if you want to do a full deep dive dive into this at some point. So to generate, there are a number of different presets available, um, the raw version, the photorealism version, uh, vector art, and you know, sort of on and on it goes. So we'll take our old chestnut, a man in a blue business suit walking down a busy city street. I, I actually put city street. I'm supposed to start putting sidewalk, but actually to Recraft's credit, uh, they, they did put him in the street, but they gave him a walking lane. So we do end up with two different images here, uh, both of which compositionally are, uh, they fall definitely within the rule of thirds, but I do appreciate Appreciate the fact that it isn't you know bullseye composition. Overall, a pretty decent image. Actually, has a lot in common with Mystic 2.5, which we looked at uh, yesterday, particularly with the depth of field here, where you know our subject is in focus uh, and there's a nice fall off to that sort of like you know bouquet blurry background. Uh, but if you take a look here in this corner, you know everything that's there's not a lot of foreground details, but we can see that our curb here is in focus on the same like plane that our subject is. So you know well done there. Punching in hands actually look yeah, pretty decent. And one thing that I found interesting is kind of like the chromatic aberrations that are happening in the background there, uh, almost kind of giving it the feeling that it was taken on a cheap lens. So yeah, overall, not bad uh, for this guy. Is this guy wearing his backpack backwards? I think he is, uh, but listen, it's also the city. You don't want to get robbed. Trying out some more imaginative stuff. Here's our cyberpunk woman with white hair. The call out tests here uh, is that shadowy figures are following her. And then there's an expression on her face that lets us know that she's leading them into a trap. Uh, yeah, I got to say that Recraft did a pretty stellar job here. Now, I will say that our, our shadowy figures in the background more just look like dudes that were at the bar that are stumbling home, but 
Our cyberpunk woman is definitely emoting more. Now, does this expression say I'm leading you into a trap? I don't know. But again, recent generations of this prompt in like say Flux 1.1 tend to give us very like character looking at camera. So for me, this is a really compelling image. It very much looks like a moment taken in time. Uh, you know, background details, the city looks great, not overly done in a you know mega cyberpunk style, but just enough fluorescent there to let us know that's the direction that we're headed in. Black armor looks appropriately, you know, cyberpunky without overdoing it. Uh, and and, you know, some really nice details on the lighting here coming off of the red neon here. Um, so yeah, overall, very impressed. Oh, and cool. It looks like we can actually do color adjustment right here on platform as well. So that is pretty handy. So one of the standout features of Recraft is its ability to generate like super long text. This is definitely giving Ideogram, which is like the king of AI image generation text, a run for its money. Uh, given that we've got you know text generation without limits, Recraft V3 is the only, you can read it. I mean, that's long. So taking that out for a spin with VHS box art of a cinematic 80s sci-fi movie poster for a Terminator movie starring Bruce Lee. And at the bottom, a quote that says, this movie does not exist by James Cameron. We end up with this. Not bad. It definitely does look like an old VHS tape of a movie that does not exist. A uh, little, you know, bland in terms of design. Obviously, we are not getting Bruce Lee's face here, so uh, Recraft is scrambling famous faces, but overall, I definitely got the idea. Another run of it, which actually I think does have a better title treatment for the word dragon, but did ultimately end up screwing up Terminator for uh, Turbinaton. So yeah, look, it is still AI. You're probably gonna have to re-roll a few times to get, you know, accurate text. Taking a look at some community outputs here uh, from Hard Flash, we have Blonde in a blue medical intern uniform holding a tablet that says Scrubs. Uh, yeah, this looks pretty decent. A little bit of like wonk there on the fingers. Dog wearing sunglasses playing piano because, you know, dog wearing sunglasses playing piano. Uh, it does look like we have not solved the problem of piano keys. They are supposed to alternate between two black keys to three black keys. Uh, this is all of the AI image generators do this. Uh, but impressively punching in, I appreciate the fact that it doesn't cheat the uh, eyes of the dog behind the sunglasses. So uh, yeah, uh, pretty solid. Um, just look at that nose, you just wanna boop it. But I think a real standout of Recraft is actually going to be in the vector art styles, uh, namely because you can actually export as SVGs, meaning if you are an Illustrator user, which admittedly I am all thumbs with Illustrator, uh, you can go through and do all of your editing stuff. Uh, and since it's a vector, you know, obviously you can scale it up as much as you want. Running through some quick community outputs, uh, Ali Mac gives us these uh, fairly impressive and stunning images. I really like this one a lot. Jin B gives us this photo within a photo. Uh, I've definitely seen this going around as like a trend lately. And uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And Brent Lynch gives us this cinematic Bond inspired image. Uh, maybe that's Jane Bond over there. Uh, yeah, this is very cool. So overall, this looks very promising. And again, there's a ton of tools in here. I feel like I've barely only scratched the surface. So definitely do let me know if you want me to swing back and do a deep dive. In the meantime, uh, you can use this completely for free. You get 50 credits a day for free. Each generation seemed to be about two credits. So uh, yeah, you know, 25 free images a day. There are, of course, paid plans at $10, $24, and $48. So it, it's pretty reasonable. So if you're interested in checking it out, the link is down below. I, I mean, I recommend at the very least hopping on and generating a couple of free images and trying it out. Briefly before moving on and relevant to your interests, I did want to talk about the partner and sponsor of today's video, Hostinger. So one of the things that you guys have been asking for is like a resource or a website where I can provide links for all of the stuff that I've talked about. But building a website does take a lot of time and you know, I'm usually underwater keeping up with all of the latest AI stuff. If you're watching this video, I'm sure you feel the same way. And you know, look, you've probably got a ton of awesome ideas for you know, websites as well. So when hosting your reach out to talk about their website creation platform with AI tools, I mean, it was kind of a no brainer. So let's take a look at how you build a website on Hostinger. So after logging in and getting started, and yes, by the way, there is a uh, Black Friday sale coming soon. It is the biggest ever. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, so I'm just gonna hit continue setup here. I haven't actually started anything. 
We're gonna answer a few questions like this is for myself or for my business. I'm not migrating a website, I am creating my own website, although apparently you can migrate one or you can hire somebody to build it for you. Although why would you? Because we have AI tools now. We can either use WordPress or the Hostinger website builder. I've used WordPress before, uh, it's a lot. So I'm just gonna use the Hostinger website builder. You can do domain registration here. So I've already registered under theoreticallymedia.com. Hey, look, we're grownups now. And that brings us to sort of like this wizard type thing. Um, so let's call this, let's call it a blog. I guess that's probably the easiest. We have an area for a description here. I'm just gonna copy paste this in. Um, this may or may not have been written by ChatGPT. And yeah, there you go. Now I have somewhat of at least of a starter of you know a website. Everything is kind of placed where it should be. Uh, from here, we can just go into edit site where we kind of have these blocks uh, that we can change around. So let's do a generate image here. Of course, we're gonna do a uh, man in a blue business suit. And there you go, our channel mascot, uh, you know, front and center. Uh, obviously all of this stuff is editable as well. Uh, and we even do have an AI writer here if you need help getting started on any particular section. Speaking of which, there are actually a ton of AI tools in here, uh, image generators, writers, page generators, a section generator, a blog generator, an AI heat map, I guess, that creates a heat map of where users will most likely focus their eyeballs. Um, so, you know, as you're sort of going through this, you can message more strongly in those areas. If you are productizing, you can create an online store here as well. And in kind of a cool turn of events, Hostinger does not take any additional transaction fees when you do set up an e-commerce store. If you're into analytics, Hostinger does integrate in with Google Analytics, uh, Google Google Tag Manager, Facebook Pixel, and et cetera. Oh, and cool, there's a little AI assistant here that you can turn on for your site so that visitors can ask questions. So I'm definitely turning that on. Do not harass my bot. He is a good bot. He wears a blue business suit. So obviously I am not ready to go live with this yet. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that I want to add into this, but the fact is, is that in you know the amount of time that you were watching this, I basically you know ended up creating the framework for a website. So honestly, I do think that this is a pretty great way of getting a website up and running in very little time. Uh, additionally, they do have this Black Friday sale going on right now in which you can get up to 79% off hosting and web building. They've also been nice enough to provide me with a 10% off coupon that actually does work in conjunction with this sale as well. Uh, so, you know, for example, if you were to use the business plan here, uh, which honestly is a dollar more than the premium plan, this one's kind of a no brainer. From here, you can choose the duration anywhere between one and 48 months. Obviously at 48 months, you are going to get the most bang for your buck. After that, you will definitely want to use the coupon code theoretically for an additional 10% off. And the thing about this is that this actually stacks on top of the sale. So don't miss out on this. And if you're in need of a, I'm not gonna call it a one click solution, but you know, like a, like what, seven click solution to generating up a website, uh, please do check out Hostinger. They are linked down below. Sliding over to another AI image generation, I guess method. Uh, yeah, Blockade Labs, who you might remember from Skybox AI, which was a thing where you could generate and prompt uh, for like Skybox type views, like 360 panorama type things. Um, yeah, this was pretty cool, but they actually are introducing something completely new. So they have a new feature called Blendbox, which is very close to something that I have been looking for for quite some time. Now, to be clear, I'm actually in an alpha test environment right now, so I'm not sure if this is exactly how it's going to look when it releases, I think later today. But basically you have the ability to generate within layers. Um, so let's start this off with, so as you can see our input image here generated, and then we have an output image here where it's taking it through another stylization pass. And the reason for that, you can start to add objects in here as I did uh, here with the mouth of a dark cave. And uh, as you can see that auto generates here and then in the output, reflects there. So yeah, it's kind of cool. And then we can add in another image layer. In this case, I'm gonna put a young man in a yellow raincoat. Uh, if you have seen the Netflix show Dark, you know where I'm headed with this. Uh, and indeed we have him here, but I want to have him facing away from the camera. Yeah, not bad. And obviously we can scale our guy down here a little bit or up as we need. Um, and you can see, although our comp doesn't look great to begin with, it all kind of comes together in our output. And what's kind of cool is that from here, we can come up and swap out the uh, overall style 
of our output image. So like abstract expressive here. We've got a cool French comic book look for like that sort of like Mobius kind of style. Uh, yeah, there's just a ton of styles in here. Ooh, psychedelic, let's try that out. And like Lisa Simpson once said, I can taste colors. So where I think that this is going to get super powerful is A, when you can lock layers and import your own images, but also when you'll be able to utilize the power of Skybox within it, because you know, that, could end up being a very powerful combination. So you can check out Blendbox that is linked down below. And maybe while you're there, uh, you know, check out Skybox again. It's been a while since I've uh, checked in on this. And yeah, it's they, they've really come a long way. This looks pretty great. Okay, that's it for today. Uh, I'm sure a hundred things ended up happening while I was making this video. So uh, I'm gonna go check in on all of that stuff. In the meantime, I thank you for watching. My name is Tim.